sponsored by Slimeline, ACC Crappie Stick, Grizzly Jig Company, and Crappie Monster. Today, folks, we're going to be building three different style fish attractors, and man, do I wish it was this beautiful at Lake of Egypt right now. But today, we've got 30 mile an hour winds, and we've got 40 degree temperatures, so we're building fish, fish attractors back in my garage, and yeah, all under 15 minutes, you're going to learn how to do fish attractors, three different styles. Let's get to it. using an orbital sander just because uh, it's easier I think we trying to go up and down these pipes with a piece of sandpaper just kind of a pain all right I know we're just jumping right in but heck we're gonna get this done under 15 minutes we're making the large sphere right now and what's important is that you do sand up your surfaces so that you can get some algae to actually adhere to the PVC now if you don't want algae Certainly don't sand them and it won't, you won't have any problem there. But I'm doing this to every single piece and obviously there's a lot of pieces that we're gonna be sanding. All right, so what I've decided to do is on these spheres and you've seen the pictures, these are gonna be the big spheres. We're gonna be using two inch PVC pipe with a cross member right here. I meant for two inch PVC pipe. Each sphere, the big spheres we're gonna make are going to require two of these guys. They roughly cost around five bucks a piece. So five, five, that's 10 bucks. And then a big piece of uh, two inch pipe, which is gonna be roughly around another five, five bucks. Uh, we're looking at roughly around $15 for each one of these spheres. We want these spheres to be roughly five foot in diameter. So we're gonna do two and a half inch cuts on these right now, okay? So basically on these large spheres, we're gonna have a top legs and bottom legs. The top legs are gonna be two and a half feet. The bottom legs are gonna be two and a half feet. That will make a circumference of five foot. make one large sphere, these are the items that you need to make it. All right, this is where we're at. We've mocked one up and we basically got 30 inch legs everywhere with two cross members right here. And we do have about a two inch spacer right here that I took off of this leg here. So this leg is just a little bit shorter. Actually it's not because once you add this coupler in here, it brings that leg up quite a bit so <clears throat> it's about all equal but these are 30 inch pieces right here <clears throat> and my plan is to put three of them roughly really close together so they kind of fill a little area up we're gonna see if we're gonna attract some fish but this is mocked up and so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna duct tape the bottoms of these pieces right here and we're gonna fill these up with concrete so the bottom legs and that's what's gonna bring the weight is what's gonna bring it down and keep it down and these will be left hollow up here on top and they'll all be glued together. So let's get to the next step. Let's duct tape and fill these up with concrete. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Doesn't have to be pretty folks, it's going underneath the water. All we're doing with this duct tape is so it can hold the concrete in there when I pour it in there. All right, while the concrete sets up, and we'll let that set up probably overnight, we're gonna go ahead and glue these pieces together. So these are the, the two pieces right here that make up the balance of that, of that large sphere. So all I'm gonna do is slap some PVC glue in here. Certainly a lot. So basically all the pieces that do not have concrete in them can actually already be glued together. So I'll glue these today, I'll let them sit overnight along with the concrete, and all I have to do then tomorrow is basically glue the concrete legs in and we're ready to go. So each one of these legs are filled up with concrete all the way up. So two inch PVC pipe, 
filled up with concrete and all those legs are filled that way. So that's what the weight and that's what's going to hold it down. And now we just glue the pieces together. So I was actually very surprised on heavy, how heavy these legs are. So each of them at 30 inches, and of course the one that's at 27 inches, I think, or 28 inches, very heavy. Once you fill them up with concrete and it hardens, man, these suckers are not going anywhere once I drop them. These large spheres are definitely a test this year. It's something I've never done before, but I just thought they looked good. I, I just like how they look when they're grouped together, as you saw that earlier photo, and I'll show it again right here. But definitely a test this year going to check them out and compare them to everything else that we're doing. All right, folks, we're going to move on to our next fisher tractor. We're going to use the porcupine fisher tractor right here. Perfect. Now these are smaller spheres. I plan on making these roughly around four foot in diameter. So I'm, I've got a bunch of half inch PVC pipe that I've already sanded down and we're going to basically just be putting in two foot sections in every one of these. So there it is. We're going to be working with this for the next fish attractor. All right, well, there you have it. Not very hard. Simply just putting that half inch PVC into the spheres. I chose to use the cement. That's gonna secure it even more. And next step is basically going to be pulling a wire to some bricks to kind of make sure that we can weigh those down. So I like that. They're expensive. I mean, $40 for three green spheres and then you have to buy the PVC separately. And each 10 foot stick was roughly around $1.40. So, and it took roughly five sticks to do each one of these. So there's 25 pieces. I've got three more to put there, but 25 of these guys for each sphere, I think it was. So five times one, one and a half would be roughly, what's that gonna be? Seven and a half dollars, something around there, plus the 40. So if you say 50 bucks for three, you're looking at roughly, rough math, 16, $17 a piece. Not bad. I like them. I think they look good. All right, let's take just a small little break and enjoy the view over Max Marina located on Lake of Egypt and obviously in that other cove right over there, that's Pyramid Acres. Both great marinas on the lake. This is where you'd put your boat in if you ever do come out to Lake of Egypt. Now, the next fish attractor that we're going to be building is going to be called the Cinder Block. This is just straight three quarter inch PVC put into cinder blocks. Folks, if you can find some free cinder blocks, you're going to make these very inexpensively. So let's get to it. So right now we're just cutting the pieces to, we've got a five foot section and then we're also doing a 40 inch section so that we can get more pieces out of these PVC pipes that I have. So I think, uh, yeah, we'll do one more five foot section. So I know a lot of people are gonna be asking me, where are you putting these, where are you putting these? Can't tell you folks. Unfortunately, that's gonna be top secret. And uh, hey, when you make yours, I won't ask you where you're putting yours. And uh, Again, we don't have to be perfect with this with this cut right here, but I, I'm estimating what the five foot mark is. There we go. And uh, these could be going in my pond in front of my house. So, <laughs> bam! You guys all remember Gabby? You guys always remember Gabby? Come here, Gabby. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. God. That's the gabster right there. All right, so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some screws at the bottom. So these are the, all these right here are gonna go into the cinder blocks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a hole at the bottom and put a screw protruding out. These will only be sunk about, you know, this deep in concrete. And I just worry that they might come out. 
So I'm gonna put about an inch and a half up, I'm gonna put a screw and you'll see some of those. I don't have to pilot that hole at all, I can just screw that screw straight in, leave it like that, and that when that's in that cinder block, that concrete will go around that screw and that will really lock it in. So there's a good look at that. I'm just, I know it's a little extra work, but um, I'll feel a little bit better about it, I guess. So. I thought I would need to pilot a hole, but the reality is I don't. And I'm using old screws. Alright folks, so we're now going to be start building our, our third fish attractor and I've got a special guest, my dad, George, he's helping me. Um, but this will be the third, this is cinder blocks. My, okay, my audio quit on me there. So basically cinder blocks with five to six pieces of PVC sticking out of it. I don't overdo it on the PVC pipe folks, I just don't. Um, so five to six per cinder block. Once you get the PVC, you know, in position that you like, get some water, throw some water in there, throw some more concrete on top, pour some more water, and you're done. It doesn't have to be fancy, and I'll basically let these sit out here for quite a while. That's not as easy as it looks. But uh, now we've got three variety uh, fish attractors that we can use, utilize anywhere on the lake that we choose to, and whatever lake we choose to, essentially. But make sure you do have rules that you are uh, adhering to the rules of your lake. Cinder blocks, three quarter inch PVC, two inch uh, spheres right here. And then of course we have the big spheres with the half inch. So, hey, thanks for joining me. Check out this playlist right here. Thank you.